Now, event-driven Ansible is built on three main components. We have sources, rules, and actions. The sources basically define how we can consume events from different platforms, and this allows us to hand that event over to our rules. Now, the rules are the conditional components where we can match certain criteria, and based on those criteria being satisfied, we would then go on to the next part, which is all about our actions. So if a condition is met, we hand it over to our actions and our actions define what we are going to do in response to the specific event. Now, the actions could be triggering a playbook, it could be triggering um, a module, um, it could even be triggering things like notifications and further events. And with these three components inside of our rulebook, this is how we do event-driven Ansible. So now that we looked at those basics, let's go and have a look at some simple examples. Now, if we look at it, the first thing to obviously see is the fact that this is a very similar structure to traditional Ansible playbooks, right? So just because we're using YAML, we're using the same structure, this already makes it a lot easier um, for us to kind of understand this, right? So we're looking at a rulebook here, and the rulebook will comprise of three main components. These are the three main components that we spoke about earlier. And this is a source where we're looking at specific source plugins where we're actually listening for the event. We then have rules and these are the conditional um, structures in terms of what we're going to do based on whatever event comes through. And then lastly we have an action. So whenever a condition is met the action will be triggered. Now in my example here I'm using a run playbook but you know we could have a run playbook, we could have run modules, we could uh, trigger an additional event um, and we can do things like notification. So there's a lot of different actions that we can already use. So if we look at this um, this rule book here we can see that we specify things like our sources our rules and our actions now let's uh, see what it looks like now I'm gonna just basically load this action up so what is this doing this is uh, starting Ansible events basically telling Ansible events to look at the rule book that we've set and we're looking against our inventory I'm gonna keep it as verbose obviously so we can see the interactions so we've started this up so you can see now we're listening for certain events now, if I go to my other um, my other system, this is where I'm going to be triggering a webhook, um, and we're going to trigger these webhooks so we can actually see what's going on. So I'm going to trigger a generic webhook now, um, and this generic webhook is just triggering a message, pushing that webhook across. And if we have a look, we can see that we've registered this webhook, but we haven't done anything. And this is simply because the rule hasn't been matched. So we haven't matched that conditional statement in terms of what we're looking for, and therefore nothing takes place. So we're going to do this again now, but obviously we're going to try and match the conditional. So this is the conditional that we're looking at. We're looking for this specific message, hell, close the shuttle doors, right? So if we trigger that, we can see that it comes through, it's been notified, and then what happens? We actually have that action take place because that condition has been met. So now what happens is we go through and we trigger a playbook and that playbook is to simply say, I'm sorry, Dave, I cannot do this. So we're going to listen for specific messages through Kafka and then from there obviously respond with, um, with a rule and then obviously an action. So I'm going to be looking for a specific message. So let's go and get going, right? So Ansible events have a boast so we can actually see what's coming in, right? So we're listening for already this rule set. Now we already have a, a broker running, so we can send messaging. So we can try send a basic message and send it through. The message has come through. Now let's try see if we can trigger that other one. So we send that through and we can see immediately that it's picked up uh, that event and ultimately we've now gone through this process of uh, running that playbook.